and I'm so happy that you joined us today. It is such a blessing. You know, every every time you watch me, I'm saying I'm excited, but I'm really excited today because I have sitting next to me a very good friend of mine. I've known her through the years. She's like my little sister. I'm the big sister. But my guest today is Pastor Wendy Cassidy, and she is the pastor of Sunlight Ministries. That's S-O-N, Sunlight Ministries, and that is Outreach Training Center, and it's located in the big town of Shibuta, Mississippi. So at this time, Wendy, Pastor Cassidy, I've got to learn to say Pastor Cassidy. <laughs> That's okay. That's Welcome okay. to our program today. Thank you, Minister Hannah. Amen. I am so excited about being here. I'm just excited about Jesus, and I, I know you say that, but I am. And I can say that over some 40 some years, I have not lost the zeal or the zest. Praise, Praise God. God. Praise I God. Thank God. What's for keeping Jesus. you so excited, Pastor Cassidy? Hallelujah. What is it? It's Jesus. Jesus. You know, when you really, uh, when you re give your life, and I gave my life to him mm -hmm. in the 70s. That's been a long time. That's been time. a minute, just a minute. And I mean, you know, I was serious. One thing about it, when we give our life to the Lord Jesus and we are serious, it's not saying we won't encounter uh, hardships. We won't have ups and downs. We will. But the Lord Jesus is always going to be with us. And because he made us that promise, didn't he? He did. He, he said, did. you know what? I'm not going to ever leave you. People will no, leave you. That's exactly right. That's if anybody right. ever left you a friend or somebody you depended on, they walked out on you? Absolutely. And when you're, uh, you, I mean, you think everything is all right. And mm -hmm. when you really, really need them for something, they're not there. They're not there. But I'll That's tell you me, what, the Lord, you know, dear. Okay. You've been there. <laughs> okay. You've been there, I'll say, since the 90s. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, but, um, you, you know, and, and what we're going to talk about today is the Holy Spirit. Wow. being with us. And that is really what the, the promise that the Lord Jesus gave us. He said uh, uh, his spirit is going to be with us. Does it live on the inside, inside of us? Inside of us. And, you know, in the in the Old Testament, um, the Lord gave the Holy Spirit. It came up on them. And we all know uh, 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 Samson, for instance. Everyone knows the story of Samson. You know, when he, when the Holy Spirit came up on him, mm -hmm. Samson, no one could beat him. Right. I mean, he, 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 uh, uh, really, uh, just came up uh, against it was a, a thousand. Power from within. It was, it was powerful because it was of God. And the Holy Spirit has always been with men as God from the book from uh, Genesis. Let me you ask know? you a question. Uh, did, you know? When 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 um, Saul prayed, what, no, when Samuel prayed for David, did the Holy Spirit come up on David? Yes, he sure he sure did. At the time of David being a teenager, he th yes, the Spirit came up on him then. However, it was not time for him to go into his ministry. So sometimes, you know, the the uh, when we receive Christ as our Lord and Savior, we receive the Holy Spirit, but then. There is uh, uh, more of God. Some people don't understand that. Yeah, they said, you get everything when you receive Christ and when you're born again. Well, we receive Christ and we have to receive him by the Spirit. But then uh, Jesus said that uh, he told his disciples in, in uh, Luke 24 and also in, in Acts 1 and 8, he, he said, to, and I'll just read that if, um, mm -hmm. if you don't mind, Acts 1 just and 8. He said, um, oh, this, I thought I had it right here. The primary purpose in, let me read it. Let me get it. I'm sorry. Okay, that's, just, sorry. that's okay. I'm but sorry. it was a get, promise that he it made, was a promise. wasn't it? And this promise w started in the Old Testament with Joel. Two Joel 2, 28 and 29. And, and uh, in Acts, uh, the chapter one, this promise was fulfilled. Praise and what God. is a promise? Honey, a promise is a, it's a declaration or an mm -hmm. assurance mm -hmm. that uh, what a person says, what, what one pr 
says it's going to happen mm -hmm. will happen. Okay. It's an it's I mean it's mm -hmm. a sure thing. A promise mm -hmm. is you know you know sometimes we can say to one another you know I'm going to do this and that and other and then we'll say. Sister Hannah, I promise. Yeah, that I'm means going so. to be. It takes that on a it, different it, uh, connotation when you say yes, it like that. I promise I'm going to do this for you. And then you are really expecting that thing to happen because some it was emphatically said. Yeah. You know, that, uh, it was emphasized yeah. when you say, I promise. Absolutely. Okay, I'm, Absolutely. I'm sorry for cutting you off. That's okay, no problem. Acts 1 and 8, it said, but you, Jesus said, but ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you and you shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. So Jesus, that, that was the, the promise he told them. He said, you shall, shall mm -hmm. is, a, is mm -hmm. one of the strongest words in the English mm -hmm. language. You mm -hmm. shall receive mm -hmm. power. Well, power for what? What are we getting that power for? That power is to help us to live day by day. The power it it it's it, it's uh it help us to witness for be a witness for Jesus Christ. I have um I've talked to people, I've been around people that say when you say, well, can you do something or can you say something for the Lord? Oh no, I I don't know if I can say it. I'm just you know I feel you know they don't have that. Uh, uh, they don't feel they have that ability. Well, the Holy Spirit will come in. <laughs> I thought about something when I was saying mm -hmm. that. <laughs> the Holy Spirit will come in and give you that power. And I, I thought about what I thought about was myself. I have always been a very passive, low key, non talking person, mm -hmm. <laughs> if I can say it like right, that. Right. But when, when I met Jesus, hallelujah. Wow, things changed changed. That was a change. And I've even, you, you, you know, the Holy Ghost will give you that power. He will give you the boldness. That's one of the things that uh, the Holy, Holy Spirit will do. He give us boldness. Now, throughout the book of Acts, uh, we know that and Peter preached after they were filled with the Holy Spirit in, in Acts, the second chapter. Now, when Peter stood up and gave his sermon. And in Acts 2, the, the Word of God says it, uh, 2 and 1, it says, And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled the house where they were all sitting. And they were all, and, and there appeared unto them clothen tongues like as a fire. Now that fire it was was what was promised by John. John said, "I baptize, uh, you know, unto repentance." John's baptism, excuse me, baptism was unto repentance. He said, "But one is coming after after him," and he he, he said, "Whose shoe latch he was talk, talking about Jesus? Uh, he was not even able, uh, worthy to unlatch, and he will baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire." So three, could we say then three signs of, mm -hmm. of the Holy, Holy Ghost coming in? Mm -hmm. uh, one would be uh, uh, fire. Absolutely. And another one would be mm -hmm. wind because mm -hmm. it said it came mm -hmm. in as a as mighty, a mighty Russian, Russian wind, wind. That's and right. language. They, call, they spoke in spoke unknown mm -hmm. tongues. Absolutely. So those are three signs of people of being, being filled, filled with, with the, the Holy Ghost. Ghost. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, as, and, and, and that's where they, that boldness came in. And uh, now at the, on the day of Pentecost, we know that there were a number of people around and they heard them speak and, and mention in language, you just said language, mm -hmm. and, and they were uh, people of other languages were there, but they heard uh, messages through the disciples who were filled with the Holy Ghost to them in their languages. Wow. And they didn't understand and what was going they on. They didn't. They they really didn't. But it, that and that's the supernatural part of the Holy Ghost. Let me ask you something. Mm. If they spoke and mm -hmm. they didn't understand, mm -hmm. can't we use that same lang same language to speak to Jesus today and the devil doesn't understand what Absolutely. we're saying? Absolutely. Because we are that's speaking directly to to Jesus. To, to the Lord Jesus. Absolutely. What happens and when we've 
when we speak in language, what, what happens to us? Do we build ourselves we, up? Uh, the Word of God tells us, building up yourselves on your most holy faith. That's in Jude. Uh, uh, praying in the Holy Ghost. As we're speaking in, just today, uh, this is, just today, we were, you know, I was in, in prayer and um, uh, wanted to, well, I thought I was going to go down and start praying in English, to be honest mm -hmm. with you. Mm -hmm. And as I began to pray, I just went forth in tongues. And I was going forth in tongues, the Spirit of the Lord, as I was going forth in tongues, the Spirit of the Lord was speaking to me about what I was praying. He was uh, interpreting to you what you were Absolutely. saying. Absolutely. Absolutely. So would you encourage those who are filled with the Holy Ghost to mm -hmm. use that language as often as possible? Absolutely. When the Lord, uh, you, you, you know, sometimes people would speak in the Holy Spirit uh, when they are filled, maybe one time, one time. But each time, you know, as in, in what I found, when you're studying or when you're down to pray, the Lord will... You, you will start praying in, in yeah. our native language. language of English. But the, if you really just lose yourself in Jesus, the Holy Ghost will take over. And the more we do it, the more you will hear the Lord give you words of wisdom. Yes. Words of yes. knowledge. Yes. Things that we can use in our everyday life. Yes. See, sometimes we, uh, it, it has been... Uh, given that the Holy Spirit is, you know, he really acts, uh, you, you know, when we go to church and, and every, you know, mm -hmm. moving. Mm -hmm. But the main thing is we need the Holy Ghost every day. Every day. Every day. Every, every day. day. I'm enjoying this. This is good, you know, because people need to understand the reason that people need the Holy Ghost, the reason Absolutely. they need it. Absolutely. But unfortunately, we have to take a break, but we'll be right back. Now, you stay tuned because we have much more to share with you today on stirring up the gift that's on the inside of you. Stay tuned. Have you always wanted to own your own business by becoming a licensed cosmetologist? If so, now is the time to enroll at Unlimited Cosmetology School, LLC, located at 102 Broad Street in Hattiesburg. That's right, learn how to become a professional cosmetologist by acquiring 1,500 clock hours in 12 or 16 months. Now is the time for open enrollment. If you're interested, contact Lisa Daniels by calling 601-336-7256 or 601-408-2650. If you are being blessed by this program, we need your financial support at this time. Please consider becoming a partner or making a donation to this ministry. Donations can be made using PayPal at Hannah Hopkins Ministries or by mailing your donation to P.O. Box 17405, Hattiesburg, Mississippi 39404. We appreciate your financial support. Please pray about being a part of spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ during this crucial time by making your donation today. If you have a prayer request, please call us at 1-800-305-1928. If you don't get an answer, please leave your name and number and someone will call you back. I have as my guest here my good friend, Pastor Wendy Mills Cassidy, and she is from Shibuta, Mississippi. But let me tell you a little bit something about Wendy before I go back. She travels strategically ministering the Word of God. And that's one thing we've been called to do as servants of God is kingdom work. And when we go, you don't have to be in a pulpit to do kingdom work, but she happens to have a pulpit. So I just want to throw that in before we go into the second part of this program. I want us to continue talking about the advantages of being filled with the Holy Spirit. Oh, there are a number, a number of advantages. Uh, actually, it is so, um, to me, it's difficult to live without the being filled with the Holy Spirit, especially at this point. Mm -hmm. And in the uh, times that we're living in now, we need divine direction. We need divine impartation into our everyday lives. It, um, we need uh, a divine word, and that's what the Holy Spirit comes to do. He comes, uh, he, uh, the, the Greek word is paraclete. He comes mm -hmm. along, one coming alongside, mm -hmm. you know, 
Uh, and so in other we have him with us all the time. Praise God. And we may be able to be getting ready to uh, make a decision on purchasing something or uh, uh, in a health situation or and we need a word. We need a word. You don't have to have you a know. prophet or a prophetess to give you a word if the Holy Spirit lives on the inside Absolutely. of you. And I find Absolutely. that if I want to get a word, when yeah. I begin to read the word, God will begin to reveal to me things. He will do that. And he has that in in his word. He'll do that for us. He will re, he'll reveal things. He will give us a word on healing. And, and we have uh, well, you know, healing is, is, is one of the things the Lord has used with right. oh, over time. Mm -hmm. And and um, um, I, I know we we're talking about the Holy Spirit, but just as an example, mm -hmm. I was um, I had a problem with my shoulder mm -hmm. um, and it was hurting me so bad. And because I had <laughs> worked in my garden, I'm in the country and yeah, worked in my are. garden. She's in the country, y'all. <laughs> She's so far and, uh, in the country, I told her one day, take me back to the house. You're taking me too far down in these woods. Go ahead. And so I had, I was working in my garden, and I had done a lot of, uh, with my arms, sticking uh, some beans. And I had not had any problem really health-wise very much. And this arm, this shoulder, just began to give me so much trouble. And I was praying one day about it, and I was quoting. He said he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. He himself took our infirmities and bare our sicknesses, mm -hmm. uh, you know, Matthew 8, 17. And uh, 1 Peter 2, 24 tells us mm -hmm. who his own self bare our sins mm -hmm. in his own body. So I'm quoting these scriptures, and the Spirit of the Lord, while I was quoting the scripture, uh, the Spirit of the Lord spoke to me, and he said, Use my word like a salve. Wow. And I'm like, wow, I hadn't thought of that. Yes, that's good. So, you know, as I was His quoting word the scripture, is like medicine. I was, it, his word is like medicine. It is. It is. So we need the Holy Spirit in every area. What, what would you say you to know? somebody right now who has pain in their body and the pain will not go away? What can they do? Well, the thing about it is Jesus is our healer. He's Jehovah Rapha. Praise God. He made our bodies. We were fearfully and wonderfully made. Then the word of God tells us this. So why not go to the one that made us and ask him to give us a word through the Holy Ghost as to what to do for pain? He could give us, he, he could just tell you something really simple, simple to do. And that word would, could alleviate, alleviate, um, alleviate. alleviate that pain, whereas you're taking, you know, meds Medi after meds medication. After meds. And, and, you know, we have an example of that in the word of God with the woman, and, and, and the Lord didn't give her a name. You said the woman mm -hmm. with the issue of blood. And, you know, the interesting thing about that is that that woman must have been going to doctors because she didn't have any money. She 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 that's, had exhausted everything she, she had. Did. That's correct. But God gave her a plan. So are you saying if yes. you pray, God will give you a plan, tell you what to do? Absolutely. That's that's what he he put it in her spirit. Now we it didn't say that the Holy Ghost said to her right. per se. Right. But uh, she had heard of Jesus. Apparently she had heard some Amen. of the miracles he had done. Yeah, apparently she had. Faith, she, she mixed it with faith. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So she had heard something in the word. She had faith, so she acted. She, she said if she can get to Jesus, she didn't have to, he doesn't have to just lay hands or whatever. If I can just touch. Get in his presence. Just get in his presence. Just touch his, his it, she had the faith to believe that his garments was full of, of, of the anointing. It's the anointing that, that destroys, destroys the, the yoke. yoke. And so we, we just say to anyone that, you, you know, if you're in pain, if you're, ask the Lord Jesus to give you what to do. There are people that we're, we're, we're talking to today and they, they have incurable diseases 
Mm -hmm. And they mm -hmm. are full of fear. Yes. They don't know what the end is going to be. Yes. Yes. Though, and um, as you were saying that, um, uh, incurable diseases will bring fear upon you, will give you. And that's why it's so extremely important for us to get as much of the Word, to stay in the words. You know, we can read the Word of God, and you may not understand all of it as you're reading it, but as, and we just would admonish you to get in the Word, because the more of the Word you have, the, the more the Holy Spirit will work with you. And build your and, faith and up. It will. He will. He, will. He, he really will. And, you know, as um, uh, the Lord Jesus talked about fear, and one thing, the enemy will try to use fear to keep people sick. Fear to keep people broke. To keep relationships from from uh, uh, materializing mm -hmm. and, and where people working in. He, he uses fear. And the one thing Jesus talked about was fear not. Mm -hmm. Fear there was a reason not. he said that, wasn't yes, it? Yes, absolutely. And then over in, in the epistles, he, uh, uh, Paul spoke to Timothy and said, I g give you not the, I don't give you the spirit mm -hmm. of fear. Mm -hmm. Sp fear comes with a spirit. It is a spirit. It is a spirit. And it's it like a virus. Absolutely, absolutely. Fear is and, a, it's a tactic that, mm -hmm. that's holding so many people back. Yes, yes. If people could be, uh, free of fear, fear, they could do so much more Absolutely. than what they're doing. Absolutely. And the only thing that would drive out that fear it's is what? the anointing and the Word of God. Praise God. Does the that blood go back of to Jesus. the Holy Spirit? It goes right back to the Holy Spirit, what we're talking about. I mean, we, it, it, you know, the, it, that's why everyone needs the Holy Spirit, if at all. You, you know, we need, we need to receive Christ is our Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. And then we need to ask him to fill us with, fill, fill us and with the Holy Spirit. And one scripture says, being filled with the Spirit. Spirit. So we are continually being filled day by day Absolutely. with the Spirit of God. Many in fillings of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Many. Yeah. They were filled on the day of Pentecost, but that wasn't the only in filling. Let me ask you something, Pastor Wendy. Um, Peter. Yes. He was always um, impetuous, Peter, I call him. Absolutely. He was always apprehensive, and he was always speaking out. Yes, it was. Was that that same Peter over Ooh. there that when he preached, how many people got saved in one day? Oh, 5,000 uh -huh. or so. That's right. Over 3,000 oh, or 5,000. Three, three to 5,000 people. So, so was many saved. saved. Mm -hmm. A change came over him after he was what? Filled with the Holy Spirit. Oh, everything that Peter was before uh, the, the infilling of the Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost vanished away. Prior to that, Peter walked with Jesus it, right there with the, with the uh, saw miracles and what have you and still denied him. He denied, denied him. him. He did. Is it? He did. Praise God. But, but what did Jesus that, say? Ooh, after. I'm going to pray for you, Peter. That, that that your faith fail you not. He said he was going to pray for He knew Peter was going to get saved, mm -hmm. didn't he? He knew that. He knew that this this too shall, would pass, and it did on the day of Pentecost. Talk to the people. We have about three more minutes left in the program. And encourage them that what they are praying for, God has already gone before them. Praise the Lord. Yes, whatever you are facing right now, we just want to encourage you today to receive Christ as your Lord and Savior and, and, and receive the work of the Holy Spirit. The, the, the work of the Holy Spirit, praise God, is, is to remove that fear, is to give us the power, is to give us the boldness. Praise God. Uh, the, the, the Lord wants us to walk in victory. And one of the ways of walking in victory is actually being filled with the Holy with Ghost. With the Holy Ghost. And I mean, we need that. Mm -hmm. We and, and it's not some great uh, situation that, you know, you've got to swing from the chandeliers or mm -hmm. all this. That's not it. No, it isn't. 
It's having that power. You can receive it just sitting right on your couch in your mm -hmm. in your living room or wherever you are. Wherever you can just you, receive. If you God. want it and you yearn for it, Absolutely. you can get it. Absolutely. I can remember when I was youth director at the Jackson Revival Center in Jackson, Mississippi. I was working with a, a group of young teenagers, mm -hmm. and I'd been teaching them about being filled with the Holy Ghost and fasting okay. and praying. Right. And so one night, an evangelist came there from Florida, and he just spoke it, yes. and all of them were just all of them received it, just opened their mouths and just started really talking. Right. And I took my daughter home, and she was still talking, talking in tongues. In tongues. And Pastor mm -hmm. Jennifer Beard, who's one of the greatest pastors in the United States of America, was in mm -hmm. that group that night, Praise and she received God. the Holy Ghost and now yes, she's ministering yes. all over the world. Hallelujah. I know that's power. That's, that's the power of the Holy Ghost. That's right. Praise God. And, and, and it's for everyone. Peter, I want to read this in Acts 2, 38. See, it's not just, it wasn't just for them. And mm -hmm. you were just, you've just uh, told us, um, mm -hmm. Acts 2 and uh, 38 tells us, uh, uh, I could quote it, but I'd like to just, read it because uh, um, it it gives us Peter what Peter said um, mm, okay oh Lord let's see here is it over there I have it right here thank mm -hmm. you then Peter said unto them repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And this is the this the scripture I really wanted to uh, emphasize for mm -hmm. the promise. Mm -hmm. It was a promise. Mm -hmm. Is unto you and to your children. Mm -hmm. See that was to them back mm -hmm. then, their children, to all that are far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. That that, that promise is, is for to, you. Today. I, I, if you're today. not saved, listen, I invite you to call the prayer line today. Yes. We want to lead you to Christ. We want to tell you yes. what you can do and get you saved and then how you can be filled with the Holy Ghost. Absolutely. Just as Pastor Cassidy was saying, it's a mm -hmm. gift. It's, it's for you. Gift. It's for your children. It's Absolutely. for your children's children. Yes. I just thank you all for joining us today. Pastor Cassidy, this yes. was such a blessing. Praise God. We're going to have to do this again. Amen. Amen. And then you, you bless some people today. Praise the Lord. Because you bless your friend here. Praise God. Yeah. Amen. And I just want to thank you for joining us today. And until this time next week, I am Hannah Hopkins with Lifting You Higher TV Minister saying, you be blessed. If you are being blessed by this program, we need your financial support at this time. Please consider becoming a partner or making a donation to this ministry. Donations can be made using PayPal at Hannah Hopkins Ministries or by mailing your donation to P.O. Box 17405, Hattiesburg, Mississippi 39404. We appreciate your financial support. Please pray about being a part of spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ during this crucial time by making your donation today. 